Oh yeah. Oh, this is really good. Chai spice pear pie. My shepherd's pie is prepped. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this festive little vlog from my kitchen. I'm gonna take you along with me today, all day, and show you everything I eat and drink and everything I prepare in the kitchen. It's gonna be a long day in the kitchen for me today, or at least that's what I have planned. Of course, aside from everything that I'm gonna be cooking and eating today, I'm also gonna do some prep for a dinner party that we're hosting tomorrow. Or actually, it's it's a D&D session. <laughs> We're hosting a D&D session tomorrow with a dinner attached to it as well. And in order to leave as much room to play as possible, I'm going to prep as much as I can today. So we're going to do all of that. Um, you just saw my breakfast, which is honestly one of my go-to breakfasts at the moment. I just love that kind of subtle chocolatey flavor with the frozen cherries, the warm cherries. Oh my gosh, so good. I kind of alternate between that and oatmeal with warm apple, fresh diced apple and cinnamon and raisins and walnuts. I realized I forgot, I usually I have this seed mixture that I usually sprinkle on top that is flax seed, hemp seed and chia seed. But I forgot to add that because, you know, filming. <laughs> so I sprinkle that on top, delicious. It is currently 10.30 and time for a midday snack. In case you're just tuning in, I am pregnant at the moment and eating a little bit more than I usually do. So yeah, it's 10.30 and I am starving. So I'm gonna make myself a little mid-morning snack. Nothing too heavy because I do have lunch coming up as well and it needs to be pretty quick because I am working. But let's, let's see what we have. Let's see what I can whip up here. So I think I'm probably just gonna have some crackers or knekkebrood actually. <laughs> this if you are in or near the Netherlands, if you can get your hands on this, the Wild Westland plant-based cream cheese. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's like a garlic and herb cream cheese, but it's amazing. Just the texture and the flavor and everything, it's really convincing. Vegan cheeses uh, need a little bit of work still. <laughs> I mean, in general, they're just, yeah, not, not very cheese-like just yet. I feel like vegan meats are incredible at the moment, but cheeses are not quite there yet. But this one is a perfect, perfect dupe for the real thing. So I'm gonna have some of that. And then I have some Harissa hummus. Just gonna spread that on top. And I think I'm gonna have some grapes with that. I'm feeling grapes. So let me just do a little bowl of grapes here. I feel like this should hold me over until lunch. I just realized I haven't had anything to drink all morning aside from that little glass of orange juice. So I need to make myself a pot of tea. I'm gonna see, have a rummage through my collection, see if I have any teas that are labeled Christmas tea. I know I used to have a bunch, but those usually tend to run out pretty quickly. So I'm gonna see if I still have any and I would love to make myself that. I haven't had any festive teas at all yet this year. So it's about time. Excuse the kettle noises, but I found two. I found this straight up Christmas tea, which is a black tea with spices, some fruits, some ripples, and I found this winter forest tea, which I remember being absolutely incredible. Let me just turn off the kettle there. <sighs> so good. 
But this has some ingredients that I'm not entirely sure I'm allowed right now in pregnancy. So <laughs> let me just um, use my app here. It tells me whether something is safe or not. Yeah, tea ingredients are often not in there, so I'm just gonna have to Google. For example, eucalyptus. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should not use eucalyptus. Safe if used in a small amount. Oh man, okay, so how about pine needles? Don't try pine needle tea. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm sad, I'm sad. Okay, let's see this. Let's check this one. Cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, black pepper, black tea, rooibos. I think this one is safe. I'm not supposed to have too much cinnamon, but a, too much cinnamon is a lot of cinnamon. So this is the one, the Christmas tea. <laughs> I'm gonna lie though, I am mourning that winter forest tea because it was so good. Oh well, something to look forward to next year. <laughs> morning Robert my husband packed his lunch for work was about to leave to go to work and then realized that they were having a catered lunch at his office today so he took his packed lunch out of his backpack and asked if I wanted to eat it today because obviously we don't want to let it go to waste so I will be having Robert's lunch for lunch today um, it should be in the fridge here we go we have a few sandwiches here yeah looks like four sandwiches so I'm just gonna have those, but what I am gonna do is we still have, also in the fridge, some leftover soup, which we need to use up, and I need some veggies with this. I like to have a fruit or a vegetable at every meal. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and heat this up in a little pan. This is, let's see, leek, parsnip, potato, soup. There's some apple in it, spices, lots of turmeric. It was really, really good. So nice, nice creamy soup. Oh yeah. Oh, this is really good. Okay, let me just heat that up. And that's gonna be a nice big lunch for me because if I'm completely honest, those grapes and crackers didn't really cut it. I need a little bit more. <laughs> That lunch <laughs> was maybe a little bit too much. It was a lot of food. I am stuffed. It is half past three. Normally I would have had a second like midday snack by now. There's no way, there's no way. I am absolutely full, which is good because I really need to focus on tomorrow's dinner now and prep work for that. So basically we are having four people coming over. So there will be six of us in total. And I was thinking of making a dish that is kind of within the theme of the session as well. We're playing in a wintry, snowy setting uh, in England and obviously the house is fully decorated for Christmas so I felt like a kind of wintry, festive dish would go with that nicely. So what I would love to do is create a classic vegetarian, vegan shepherd's pie. So I'm gonna make a lovely lentil base filling I'm gonna cook those in some broth and then I'm gonna add leeks, carrots, peas, some celery I think would be nice in that. Topped with lovely fluffy mashed potatoes of course. And then as a side dish, I thought I would do a kale salad with cranberries. And I was gonna do almonds or pecans, but then I realized that one of our guests has a nut allergy, so definitely none of those. And I think I'm gonna replace that with pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds instead, toasted. I think that would be really nice. Maybe lemon dressing on top. And I was also thinking of baking. <laughs> if you've been around here for a while, you will know that I am a notoriously bad baker. It's because I don't follow instructions ever. When I cook, I cook 
with the heart and that doesn't work for baking unless you know exactly what you're doing which i don't i just i just don't bake very well i feel like i cook very well but i don't bake but i want to bake anyway because i would really love to make a chai spiced pear pie doesn't that sound amazing i was looking online for like vegan wintry desserts because vegan desserts are the worst really hard to make and i found this recipe for a chai spiced pear pie which sounds just incredible um but since i am very bad at baking i'm thinking of buying a ready like pre-made apple pie mix those are sometimes vegan but you have to add your own um butter and eggs sometimes and if i just substitute those i'll be good i found one that doesn't require eggs so i only have to add some vegan butter and it'll be grand so i'm gonna make the filling following that recipe and then just use the ready-made package for a crust so I'm gonna go ahead and buy that, but what I need to do is make a shopping list for all of these dishes. Mainly just determine the amounts I need. There are gonna be six of us, so I'm gonna probably cook eight portions of everything just to be sure. Uh, I always like to have a little bit extra. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead, make a grocery list, write down everything I need to buy, and then I'm gonna head over to the grocery store, and when I come back, we can do a little haul. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, this is, I just realized this is an American recipe, so it won't tell me how much I actually need to buy. One cup chopped leeks. How many leeks is that? How many leeks do I need to buy to get one cup chopped leeks? One cup chopped carrots, one cup chopped... I'll, I'll just have to eyeball it, I think. Yeah, thyme, rosemary. Oh, do I have still... Are my rosemary and thyme still alive in the garden? Need to check on that because I need fresh... For this that would be great two pounds of potatoes pounds two kilograms <laughs> about one kilogram okay i'm back from the grocery store it's a bit later than i hoped it would be or a bit later than i hoped i'd be able to start on this so i think i'm gonna have to cook several things simultaneously i'm gonna try making the shepherd's pie and tonight's dinner at the same time which should work because the shepherd's pie mostly it just needs to sit for a while and we are having a soup today soup again i'm going swimming with a friend later tonight uh, so i want to have something light and soup is just wonderful in winter and really easy to make so yeah tonight is soup and I'm gonna prep the shepherd's pie. I've decided that I'm gonna prep the pear pie tomorrow morning before the guests arrive and I will do the salad last minute because that's just the case of honestly combining all ingredients. Fun fact, you can only buy pre-cut kale in Dutch supermarkets for some reason. We, we don't have whole kale. This is the only form. <laughs> Maybe if you went to like a specialized vegetable store, like a green grocer, you could find whole kale. But in supermarkets, only like this. So yeah, it does save me a lot of time tomorrow. As long as the shepherd's pie is done, I'll be good tomorrow. Because that's gonna take the longest amount of prep time. I bought some Christmas cookies, by the way. Also for tomorrow to serve with tea. I bought some naan to go with our soup tonight. The apple pie mixture unsweetened soy milk for my mashed potatoes, cranberries of course for the salad, pumpkin seeds for the salad, I got lentils for the pie and I bought a bunch of spices for that chai pear pie again. So we have um, ground cloves, ground ginger, I have allspice and some ground cardamom. The other spices I already had at home but since I don't really bake I don't have many sweet spices. And then in the other bag, oh, I have my pears, of course. Leaf for the shepherd's pie. Celery sticks for the shepherd's pie. I got lemons and oranges. Probably gonna need one lemon for the salad as well as one orange, but I like having these on hand. So I just got the bigger size. Shallots for the salad and potatoes for my mashed potatoes. So I think I'm actually gonna start by just um, peeling and dicing my potatoes. Get those going and then I can focus on the rest.
my vegetables are cooking, my mashed potatoes are done. Those are looking great. This as well with the fresh rosemary, fresh thyme from the garden, some bay leaves. I added a little splash of soy sauce just for a bit of depth of flavor, but yeah, just waiting for the lentils to cook now. Now I can finally get started on tonight's dinner, which is needed because it's really late. We're gonna have pepper soup, bell pepper soup. A bit of a spicy soup, I think. I have onions, garlic, and bell peppers going into the pot. Oh, while that's cooking, I'm gonna cut up some tomatoes. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this right now. It smells absolutely incredible. I had a little taste just now. It's amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this tomorrow. I just transferred the mashed potato to a little container there so I can pop that in the fridge. I'm just gonna wait for this to cool down a little bit and um, then that can go in the fridge as well. My soup should be pretty much done. Oop. So I can blend that up. My naans are in the oven. And that'll be me done for today. My shepherd flies prepped. Turns out we're not going swimming after all, so I'm probably gonna prepare the pie, the pear pie as well today. But I need to sit down for a little bit first because I've been in the kitchen for hours. <laughs> so I'm gonna have one of these cookies, maybe a little cup of tea, and then hop back in here and start working on that pear pie. Pears are chopped, it's time to make the spice mixture. So for that, I have ground ginger, cardamom, nutmeg, allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg. I already said nutmeg, so something's wrong. Yeah, this is close. <laughs> close nutmeg. I think that's it. I'm gonna check the recipe just to be sure. I've never used allspice before, but these are like whole little kernels. So I think I should probably ground that before I use it. Quarter of a teaspoon. Not that much, I think. teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, one eighth of a teaspoon of the cloves. How do I do that? Think about that much. <laughs> and also an eighth of a teaspoon of the cardamom. Then we add a quarter of a cup of cane sugar. I don't think we have cane sugar. Oh, there we go. I'm <laughs> changing baking recipes again. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use the sugar I have. Okay, mix it all together. Oh my gosh, guys, this smells incredible. Oh, <laughs> it really does smell amazing. I, I just, whenever I do cooking videos, I so wish you could smell what I'm smelling because it says so much about the flavor of a dish. I feel like this would make a wonderful just chai recipe in general, honestly. I can fully imagine just scooping this into some black tea and it would be amazing as well. I know that's not how you make chai, <laughs> but I feel like it would be really good. Alrighty, so I'm gonna use this to caramelize my pears. So I'm just gonna pop those onto a pan with some vegan butter, I think. Yeah, she uses coconut oil, but I'm gonna go with, with butter instead of coconut oil. have softened. My caramel is slowly going stringy so I think at this point I should probably let this cool down a little and then pop it in the fridge as well. But I'm just really really tempted to try one of these because it smells so good. So let me maybe just do a sneaky little taste test here. Pick out a tiny one. 
very much looking forward to tomorrow. This is amazing. I will pop this recipe, or at least I use I only use the filling portion of the recipe, but I will put it in the description box um, so that you can check it out as well. I will put the recipe I used for the shepherd's pie in the description as well, although I also ended up altering that a little bit. But you know, the base is pretty much the same. And I will also link the kale salad that I'm basing my recipe off of. Also not using that recipe completely, I never really do, but yeah. I will link to all of those down below. And I will be signing off here for today. I think this is plenty of time spent in the kitchen. I might just have a little bit of chocolate or something sweet, but that's gonna be my day finished. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for following along, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to see all of my other festive videos that are coming up in December. Bye.